Hi, welcome. I'm going to read uh, four little poems from uh, the Persian poet Rumi. Coleman Barks did the versions or translations. It's a book called One Handed Basket Weaving. <laughs> His first poem is called One Song. What is praised is one. So the praise is one, too. Many jugs being emptied into a huge basin. All religions, all this singing, is one song. The differences are just illusion and vanity. The sun's light looks a little different on this wall than it does on that wall, but a lot different on this other one. But it's still one light. We have borrowed these clothes, these time and place personalities, from a light. And when we praise, we're pouring them back in. A Necessary Autumn Inside Each You and I have spoken all these words, but as for the way we have to go, words are no preparation. There's no getting ready other than grace. My faults have stayed hidden. One might call that a preparation. I have one small drop of knowing in my soul. Let it dissolve in your ocean. There are so many threats to it. Inside each of us, there is continual autumn. Our leaves fall and are blown out over the water. A crow sits in the blackened limbs and talks about what's gone. Then your generosity returns. Spring, moisture, intelligence, the scent of hyacinth and rose and cypress. Weep and then smile. Don't pretend to know something you haven't experienced. There's a necessary dying, and then Jesus is breathing again. Very little grows on jagged rock. Be ground. Be crumbled, so wildflowers will come up where you are. You've been stony for too many years. Try something different. Surrender. This one's called Bird Song from Inside the Egg. Sometimes a lover of God may faint in the presence. Then the beloved bends and whispers in his ear, Beggar, spread out your robe. I'll fill it with gold. I've come to protect your consciousness. Where is it gone? Come back into awareness. This fainting is because lovers want so much. The chicken invites a camel into her hen house, and the whole structure is demolished. A rabbit nestles down with its eyes closed in the arms of a lion. There is an excess in spiritual searching that is profound ignorance. Let that ignorance be your teacher. The friend breathes into one that has no breath. A deep silence revives the listening and the speaking of those two who meet on the riverbank. Like the ground turning green in a spring wind. Like bird song beginning inside an egg. Like the universe coming into existence. The lover wakes and whirls in a dancing joy and then kneels down in praise. Here's one more. It's called, What is the Path? What is the path? A self-sacrificing way, but also a warrior's way, and not for brittle, easily broken, glass bottle people. The soul is tested here by sheer terror, as a sieve sifts and separates genuine from fake. And this road is full of footprints, 
Companions have come before. They are your ladder. Use them. Without them, you won't have the spirit quickness that you need. Even a dumb donkey crossing a desert becomes nimble-footed with others of its own kind. Stay with a caravan. By yourself, you'll get a hundred times more tired and fall behind.